What's in your project bag? Or is your project bag so full that you actually need five or more project bags to be able to handle everything that you've got going on? Well, hello, my name is Dawn Schaefer. I am the owner of Lazy Old Ranch and I'm super excited to be here with you today. Today, I would like to share with you some of the gifts that I got from my friend Donna. My uh, works in progress that I need to take care of because I keep adding more and also a couple of the new colorways that I had dyed up this past week. So let's move on. Okay, first off, these gifts came at the right time in December from my friend Donna and they are wonderful. Um, she had mailed me some alpaca socks, which I haven't used them yet because I almost want to dye them up in a certain color to wear with my trendy Doc Martens. And um, if you can think of a colorway that they would look great in, just leave a comment below because I would like to know what your color choice would be because they've got to be something other than this although this is not bad at all but i enjoy color so i'm looking for color and then she even though i'm carrying three here i only have three in my hand she gifted me seven skeins of alpaca and i love this color it's natural and it's super soft. I've never knit alpaca before, so I'm, you know, scouring through my patterns to see what I think would go with it. And I'm almost leaning towards the Harlow sweater that I got done for my daughter. And I'm thinking it would look really nice as a Harlow sweater. So th that's what she gifted me. And Donna, if you are listening to this, Thank you so much for these in December when I received them and they are still so precious to me when I receive these gifts. Yeah, kind of going through a tough time in December, you know, just the winter blues and uh, it cheered me right up. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, if you are wondering, this is my tried and true sweater. I wear this a lot. It's in my coop worth. Um, I think it's a clay colorway and uh, it's a pattern flax by Tin Can Knits. And I wear this all the time. It is just such a nice boxy sweater that goes with jeans. I'm, I'm a jean gal. So let's move on. These are the works in progress that I have going on that I need to finish up. And um, they're not a lot, which I try to kind of contain myself a little bit because if there are too many things going on, I definitely don't, uh, I, lo I lose track of everything. So even though I only have, you know, only a number, of projects going on right now. I will say that I have yarn that is caked up ready for projects to be started. And I probably have one, two, three, four, five of those already prepped up, ready to be on my needles, rearing to go, or maybe at least I'm rearing to go to get them started, but I will, I will contain myself. That's exactly what I'll do. Can you, can you feel that? I mean, do you ever get that way yourself? Okay, this, I need to get done for my mom. But this is, now you guys probably know what pattern this is. If you do, leave it in the comments below. This is such a fun pattern. And I do want to finish it up for my mom. I think she will love this color and she will look great in it. So I've got to get that done. 
and it was to be for her for Mother's Day last year and obviously that came and went. So maybe Mother's Day this year. And then this Velocore sweater I started last summer and I'm doing I'm on the arms. I'm on the arms. You know what it was? I made the armholes bigger. Okay, which is wonderful. Uh but it requires me to recount the amount of stitches that I need on this. So it's just not as easy as that. I, I struggle when it comes to even putting the correct amount of stitches on an arm area. If you have an easy way to uh, make sure your stitches are evenly placed, comment below. Please let me know the trick. I do try to put um, knit stitch markers in certain areas of the armhole and then count, you know, if I do in quarters the amount, then I uh, get the whole amount divided by four, then use each quarter. But if there is a simpler way to do it, let me know. But this is the Velocore sweater and I can't wait for it to be done. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm hoping to get this done for two um, oh, yarn shows that I have in March. The first yarn show will be at Delmont Fiber Fest in Delmont, Pennsylvania, March 9th. The second uh, yarn show is uh, For Love of Fiber at the Ramada Inn in State College. So pop in if you are in the area drop in and say hello. I would absolutely love to chit chat with you and talk yarn, of course. The next one I have on the needles. I did finish one and I'm making this for my oldest daughter. I've got one sock done and it looks like I haven't started the second one. You know why? Because I started one for my husband in Coopworth DK. Absolutely love this olive color. So I can't wait to get them done. It's not going to be hard. Um, I'm at the heel flap right there. I know many of you were asking what heel pattern I use. I made a blog post on it and I probably will do a video on the style of heel I enjoy making. I've tried another heel style. It was, um, oh gosh, what was it called? Um, I can't remember what it was called. I tried it. I didn't care for it. This, this to me, I basically have the pattern memorized in my head and I can just whip it right off and it not be a big deal. So I will share with you that, uh, that pattern sometime uh, the way I like to do it. So those are my projects. Oh, one more. I am also working on before I lose my stitches, the Thistle Shawl by Folk City. And this is so pretty, a lot of slip stitches in there and I love the texture. And I'm about ready to start another texture point and then we'll be adding a neutral, like a, um, just a natural color Coopworth in there. So I can't wait till this is done to share that with you. That is for the upcoming shows in March. Now on to, and the last thing of this video is um, the two colorways that I created. The first one, I'm sharing with you this one first. This is Afternoon Delight. I really love how it turned out. I'm going to have to put together a knit knitted sample so you can see it's kind of messy. 
my cakes are never clean. So I will just kind of put it like this to kind of clean it up for you. But that's what it looks like. It is a fun colorway. It is on my website and it will also be at the shows. And the other one, this is Valentina right here. I love how it turned out when I first put it together. I really thought it was not pretty. I did. I was so bummed. Uh, but as I skeined it, caked it, and crocheted it, I loved it. So this is Valentina, which is also on the website and will also be at the shows. So I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.